Okay. <clears throat> Good morning, everybody. Let's start looking at week three's workshop question, shall we? Concentration and molarity. If you haven't done so already, I definitely recommend you go and read chapter four of Maths from Scratch. Ah, oh, it's going to help you. Um, but let's start with question 3.1, shall we? Okay. Let's go over here. <clears throat> so it, it will be useful if you have a copy of these questions in front of you. I do. Um, let me just read the first question. Um, at an aquarium, 30 seahorses live in a tank with the following dimensions. Uh, I've got a height of, let me draw this thing. Um, right, it's got a height of 30 inches. Shh. Oops. A height of 30 inches. Okay. I've got. Um, a length of 60 inches, it's a bit longer than this high. And I've got a depth of about 25 inches. Okay, let's draw that. So what have I got there? 30 inches, 30 inches high. I am 60 inches low, wide. And 25 inches deep okay so the question is for these seahorses to survive comfortably they require about five percent weight of volume sodium chloride dissolved in their water so a concentration of 5.0 percentage weight volume now what exactly does that mean before we even do anything else what does five percent weight volume mean let's write that out five percent weight well, you know, this, this unit of concentration is a bit of a funny one. Um, but bear with me. What this is essentially saying is that there were five grams dissolved in 100 milliliters of water. That's what that means, okay? So, for example, if you had, uh, I don't know, a gram of... Ooh, potassium cyanide dissolved in water, you'd have uh, in 100 milliliters of water, it would be 1%, okay? And you wouldn't drink it because it would kill you. Okay, so <clears throat> let's figure out what we're going to do with that. So we essentially need to figure out how much <clears throat> sodium chloride we are going to need to add to our tank, assuming it's going to be full to get a 5% weight volume concentration. OK, so the first thing we have to do is we have to work out the volume of the tank. Of course, I mean, so I've given you the volume of the tank in inches. Um, so we have to convert that to something we can convert to a volume that it is, is more consistent with our concentration. It's going to be liters, guys, OK? So let's convert, uh, let's calculate the volume. Let's calculate the volume in inches first, right? I've told you I've got. Um, a 60 by 30 by 25, um, and these are all inches uh, volume. So that is equal to, um, actually, if you do on the calculator, it's equal to 45,000 inches cubed. Okay. Now, that's no good to me. Um, the best thing I can do now is convert that into centimeters cubed. Convert it into metric units. Uh, I know that in one inches there are 2.54 centimeters. Right? I've said that in the question, I believe. Let me get rid of some of these dots. Drive me bonkers. So how many <clears throat> inches cubed are there, or how many centimeters cubed are there in an inch cube? Okay, well, I can just cube this. OK, and if you do that on a calculator, you get 16.387064. <clears throat> Excuse me. Um, and what I should really do is I should really express this to one, two, three significant figures, right? Because that's that's the minimum number of significant figures I've got in the calculation. But <clears throat> I'm actually going to do 
um, another calculation with this. So to convert from inches cubed to centimeters cubed, I'm simply going to multiply this number by this number. OK, so let's do that. Uh, volume is four five thousand times sixteen point three eight seven zero oh, six four. And that is going to give me uh, seven three seven four one seven point eight eight, which is actually equal to seven three seven thousand centimeters cubed. OK, so I've rounded at the end of the calculation to three significant figures. OK, right. I could also rewrite that. And so if, if these were a bit too ambiguous for you, I could rewrite that as 7.37 times 10 to the 5 centimeters cubed. OK, and then that is explicitly three significant figures. OK, so do we know? So that's that's great, but it's still not in liters. So do we know how many centimeters cubed there are in a liter? There are a thousand. OK, so one liter. Is equal to a thousand centimeters cubed. OK, so this volume in liters is actually 7.37 times 10 to the 5 divided by 10 to the 3. OK, and what I can do here is I can just divide. I can actually subtract the indices. So five minus three is going to give me seven point three seven times ten to the two liters or seven hundred and thirty seven liters. OK, makes sense. And that, that's about right. I think it's a big tank. And it's going to take hundreds of liters of water to fill it up, right? <clears throat> okay, so now I know what the volume of this tank is, and I know the concentration. Um, the question, remember, was how much in grams sodium chloride do we need in the tank to get to achieve a five percent? weight volume concentration <coughs> well let's look at the unit here i know how many liters there are <clears throat> now because remember my five percent weight volume is equal to <coughs> uh, five grams over a hundred milliliters right to get the number of grams only, I could just multiply this by the volume in milliliters. OK, now the volume in milliliters is seven, three, seven times 10 to the three milliliters, which allows me to cancel out these units. OK, now if you do that in the calculator, you get a number bigger than you expect. You get uh, three. Remember, this is still two, six, three, six fig. Three, six, eight, five, zero grams, or three, seven thousand. Why have I done two six fig there? Ah, because this is five point oh. This is two six fig. Okay, three seven thousand grams, um, or let's do it. Thirty seven kilograms. Right. So that seems like a lot. But it's right. I checked. Okay. Let's move on. If I can figure out how to stop recording. There you go.